Okay, start my, my third part of the video, and I think it, it's the last part here now of the video. And uh, like you see here, it's now all again the same. And uh, let's start again the GP, uh, GPUs uh, tool. Let me see uh, here. Okay, let's go. And this is all now standard like it was before also. Okay, and um, here is the, yeah, let's do the overclock it at the right side and the standard at left side. So let's push it over here and you can see it better. So, okay guys, like you can see here, uh, we have here the original one 648 uh, MHz and here 730 and you can also see at the bandwidth at the original it's uh, 100, uh, 148 GB bandwidth and here we have uh, 161 so you can see it's a really it's really a, a little bit a little bit more power than before and uh, yes uh, of course after the video I'm gonna uh, yeah um, <laughs> Overclock it back because I, I love it at uh, 730, and uh, that's why, uh, yeah. Just again for you guys again, um, I show you how to download. Yes, here these things you get, you need. Okay, just get these tools here. The first tool again for you guys: HP uh, USB stick storage format tool version 2.2.2. .2 .2. Or newer, if you find newer, no problem. And then you need the USB DOS zip, yeah. And then the tool to flash, the NV flash tool, what you have saw, what we must type. And then Nivitor, okay. Or newer, you can get 5.1, 5.2, maybe it has 5.3 now, but I work with 5.1, and all graphic cards are working great here. And uh, here you can read uh, how to do again step by step. Yeah, the first thing what you really got to do is to make your USB stick bootable and uh, just test it if your USB stick uh, boots into DOS and when you are sure and all works into DOS uh, then you you know that your USB stick is ready for all okay and just after that you know that you are, your USB stick is ready for all then you can start and go on for the next parts okay so again for you guys uh, then come on uh, let's do this again okay so part I have seven minutes more. So let's do again a quick uh, because I like it like before you know I like it at my at my at my overclocked um, at my overclocked uh, graphics card and you can see I still have the overclocked ROM inside. So that's why quick restart again here that you can see again it's all standard now yeah. But uh, yeah I think and I hope you guys see that I'm not lying. All here is uh, prove it and done perfectly. And um, if you do, like I told again, and like I tell again, uh, if you do step by step with me, you will see that all will work. So here, 648, fresh loaded program, and you see it's standard now. And now I go back to overclock it back again, and then I will close the video, because three parts is okay. But four and five and six parts uh, will be really boring for YouTube. <laughs> But uh, yes, I just try to uh, make you guys that so simple as much as as um, yes as I can, and um, I hope you guys like this video and uh, just go yeah really easy. And uh, I promise you, if you do all like I have done now, you will have no stress, no problems. Okay, so let's wait again. Now again, go into BIOS and uh, start with USB, or when you have uh, ASUS mainboard, then you just press F8, and then you have the options how to boot. So let's go here again. So then you just write again NV for NVIDIA, and then flash, space for next tool, and the next uh, file is then the OC for overclock it. GTX, overclock it, GTX, point ROM, R -O -M. let's go, all right, and yes. So if you have done this uh, three or four or five times, then it, will, it, it goes so easy like, uh, <laughs> like overclock your CPU or something like that, you know, it's really no problem, so we start again, 
And yes, uh, again, uh, when you have done this really sometimes, uh, at the fourth or five time, it's really so easy, like nothing to do, you know. This is really, yeah, no problem to do these things here because uh, five years ago, a lot of people have think that this is so danger and uh, you will broke your graphics card and so, but uh, I do this now a, a lot of times and never had a problem. Yes, uh, the only problem what can happen is uh, when it's not great done or when you lost uh, uh, energy or the power, yes, imagine your power goes off and it's, uh, it's, it's riding here and updating and you lose your power, then of course it will happen something, but then you just need a PCE card, yes, and then you can see again all and then you can uh, 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 flash it again, so it's really no problem, I think a bigger problem is when you, when you take a... <laughs> When you take a glass water and put the glass water uh, at your graphics card, then I bet you will destroy it. But with these tools here, it's really no problem. So let him load here again. Uh, and I'm sorry again for this bad resolution, but uh, it's uh, yeah my best method that I can do again here. And uh, yeah, let's do again. Now it has load. Okay. So start. Uh, where are my files here? So you must load again. All right. So here we go again. And now we see again it's overclocked now. Okay. It's all overclocked like it was. Like I like it. <laughs> and uh, let's start a new tour again. That you guys can see that the program has really loaded this graphics card. I'm not lying here to you guys. Tools, read view, select device, alright, then again, read into Nivitor, and here we go, yeah, it's the same as here, so, you can see and compare 730, here also, two, uh, 1260, and uh, here also, 2000, and shader is 1500, like here, shader 1500, okay guys, I hope I could help you a lot, and, um, yes, here again, for the last time, yeah, you can see it here, uh, how to do, and step by step, just pause the video, make pause, or make a pick, or, or something like that, and then you can uh, all the time see uh, how it works, and um, yes, I hope I could help you again, and um, if you like this video, maybe you, you give me some stars or so, <laughs> if not, no problem, just close it, and uh, anyway, I hope I could help you guys, I wish you the best, see you, bye bye.